Hi, my name is Ian. I am a bilingual case manager with the Police Accountability Board. Thank you so much for coming on and introducing yourself, Ian. Um, can you tell me a little bit about yourself and what led you to the PAB? Yeah, so um, I was born in Germany. Um, my dad is German and my mom's American. Um, I have dual citizenship and I grew up speaking both English and German. Um, we moved to the United States when I was four. Um, and then in high school I started learning Spanish, which I then ended up studying at SUNY Brockport along with international studies. Um, after college, I took a job with the Monroe County Department of Human Services as a bilingual examiner, um, helping people apply for programs like SNAP, um, TANF, um, other financial assistance programs, um, housing, things like that. Um, doing interviews for those programs for eligibility in English and Spanish. Um, so that was kind of my foray into the world of case management. Um, I did that for two years, and then I found the job postings for the PAB. Um, I looked them up, realized I was qualified to be a case manager, and um, submitted my application back in October. Um, and uh, yeah, I got hired in end of March this year. Very good. We're so happy to have you on board. Um, so just a little bit more, what inspires you about your work here at the PAB? Um, I'm definitely inspired by the nature of, um, of this, of this um, job, of this agency, um, how new it is, how fresh it is. Um, I love the level of energy um, that the community provides that really drives us. Um, and the fact that um, we're going to serve as an example for other cities across the country who are, who are doing similar um, similar programs. Um, I'm also inspired every day by just my coworkers, um, the, the motivation, the talent, um, the enthusiasm that they bring, um, both to, 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 to the job, to each other, and um, just in terms of serving the community. Yeah, and I know in terms of inspiration, as a case manager, you, you see people one-on-one -on -one who experience trauma, and you get to touch their lives in some way, whether it's like actually helping them get justice or even just listening to them. Yeah. So that's amazing, and we really appreciate that. Um, what do you look forward to the most working at, here at the PAB, and uh, what do you see being the most challenging thing? Yeah, so um, I would say Every day, I look forward to, to seeing my coworkers and the little interactions we have, and like the the relationships we're building. Um, I also really do enjoy um, interacting with the uh, members of the community who come to us. Um, I like hearing their stories, seeing how I can help them. Um, but I would say that's also the most challenging part. Um, like you said, the the emotional trauma aspect is. Um, it's very real, and um, sometimes you just need to, to listen to people's stories and, and um, be there for them in their way. Well, speaking of you know mental health and your capacity to kind of hear and take in trauma, um, what do you enjoy to do outside of work here at the PAB? Like, what, who is he in? What does he do? What do you, what do you like? <laughs> so I love to cook. Um, I love grilling. I love cooking in the kitchen, um, anything like that. Um, I also love music. I, I play the bass in two local bands, um, a Hispanic Room and Flying Home. And um, I also just love being outdoors. I love camping, primitive camping. Um, I like playing sports. I play kickball right now in the Rochester Kickball League. Um, and yeah. Very nice. And when can we catch your band? When can we see you play live? Um, summer's kind of slow for us right now, but um, yeah, usually we'll, we start picking up. You'll have fall. to you'll have to keep us tuned because I'll put it in our next PAB newsletter so our, yeah. our fans can look out for that. <laughs> and the last but not least final question I have for you is: If you were a ruler of your own country, what would be the first law that you would introduce? The first law would be to get rid of YouTube ads because we don't need those. Um, they're very annoying. Um, yeah, and, and, and they just bring up a, a lot of negativity. We don't, yeah, we don't need that negativity in our lives, no. in, our, in our viewing time, no. really. Mm -hmm. So I feel that. I'm not going to buy this stuff anyway. <laughs> so. 
It's just um, inconvenient. But I would I would uh, build more public transit uh, in in smaller cities like Rochester, and um, I think um, creating more like community gardens, things like that, alternatives for people to get healthy food and and just be more healthy in general. Definitely, we have a beautiful city here, and so yes. making you know traveling by walking more accessible. You know, I always wish we had like a metro here or something, yeah. you know. Um, I would love that, but you know, cool. wishful thinking. <laughs> yeah. I think they tried to revitalize that a while ago. It didn't work out. Yeah, bring back the subway. Oh, yes, <laughs> hashtag, hashtag bring back the subway. So Ian, thank you so much for coming on. And to everybody watching, be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, um, Instagram. We also have a TikTok and we are at Rochester PAB. So bye everyone and thank you for watching. Thanks.